Hi, I'm David Edgeley and this is Log Builders Workshop and today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of my spindle machine. Uh, it was something that I welded together myself and designed because I needed a, a more efficient way to build uh, railings and also the log furniture. I've had a couple of people ask me how it was put together so I thought I'd just give you the sort of ins and outs of it and at some point in the future I will uh, uh, spend a bit of time and actually maybe get a drawing and go into a lot more detail on how to put one together. Um, if you sign up at the Log Builders Workshop, when I get a moment, uh, you'll be notified that I've done it. This is my spindle machine. It's about 20 feet long. I want to take a little bit of time and just show you what this bad boy is about. So we got the radial arm saw at this end. It's a 12 inch DeWalt. Um, it's 240 volt. We have a, a drive motor to turn the um, spindle down here with a pulley on it. We run through a couple of pillar blocks out to the end. Just under where the saw blade is, is one end and that, that's where the uh, spindle or railing will plant into. And then it goes down to the trolley down at the other end and plants into there. Down here I've got the engine that drives it and I can change the speed. It turns at about 80 rpm at the moment um, which I find fairly fairly good for most things I do and um, this is uh, one end that um, it's actually a, a prop shaft out of a boat that goes through here it's also got a drill press. This was a floor model. It was uh, about six foot tall and I cut it down. The reason I used this uh, drill press was because most drill presses only have about a three inch throw here and this one actually has about a six inch throw so it allows me to do the the angles much easier and also drill further into the log. Uh, with the three inch one I think unless you were just doing light furniture you'd probably run into trouble. So this would be the upper link on the tractor and I've got a, a gauge here so that you can actually tell what angle you're drilling in and I've got a nice little platform this is magnetic and it's at exactly 90 degrees so I can adjust this and hopefully you can see that as I, as I turn the upper link here it adjusts the angle of the drill press. When this gets to be quite low, let me come back here, when you've tipped the, the drill press down too far, these um, handles will actually land up hitting uh, the log. So I've just made myself some short little ones um, to deal with that and I just unscrew these ones out like so and I place in there like that. This is a one horsepower drill and it has a lot of power and when you're using these uh, two and three inch bits if you get your clothing caught in here it'll hurt you a lot so just make sure that you uh, if you're going to brush the stuff away like the chips that come out take a stick and brush it away don't use gloves or anything that's loose around there um, otherwise you will pay the price. You may wonder what this little doohickey is here and when I'm doing posts I need to draw a straight line around the post so I just put this down and I've got little uh, I don't know whether you can see at the bottom down there but I have little uh, slots cut in the end and that way I can put my pencil in here rotate the log and draw a straight line around so if I need to cut it off I can just cut it off. And the other thing I've got here is this and this tells me when I'm when I'm drilling straight up and down I just run this out to uh, wherever I need the hole but when you're trying to drill a hole at an angle you you also need to be able to center it to um, the hole as well so you push this out and you lock the carriage so it can't move and I, I have a locking system for it. Um, you lock the carriage and then it 
it will drill to the center the way you need it. Everything on this machine is built off a center line. You might be wondering what this come along down here is for. What I use this for is I wrap it around my pulley and this is off the front of a, a car crankshaft and then I can tighten it down like this and so the shaft won't turn at all and I need this when I'm drilling because if, uh, if I'm drilling here and the log is turning all the time um, obviously your holes aren't going to be in a straight line so I found that a really effective way to uh, lock the shaft and at this end I have just a little hole here and I drill the shaft uh, a hole in the shaft here so I can just take a screwdriver and stick it in here and it locks this end at this end I also have a couple of pillar block bearings and I have the other end of the prop shaft off the boat um, and this this plate, this piece moves up and down and has the the uh, switches to turn on and off the motors and uh, make the motor come in and out. This is where the spindle fits on and I hammer it into place and it locks down. It's got a little hole just on the end, I don't know whether you can see, and it locks down into a butterfly nut that I've uh, I've sharpened these so when it when I hit on it it locks it in there it also has it also locks my bolt in the into the end of the shaft down here I have the saw switch so this actually turns the saw on even if I'm 15 feet up the uh, the platform so my next switch is to turn the the railing turner and that's this one here and that rotates the railing so when the saw is going it cuts into it and finally in the middle here we have the switch to make the uh, saw go back and forward And from my platform up here, my um, trolley, the cables run, they're about 20 foot long, so they run back to the box down there, um, along the back. And up to the little unit that actually runs my, uh, this is actually off a satellite dish. Um, and this is off a satellite dish, one of those old ones, and I actually have a spare one here, just so you can see what they look like. They're off those big old satellite dishes that were about eight foot long and they've got this great worm gear in them and they seem to do the job really, really well. I just took all this junk off the outside and uh, and it, it's worked really well. And then what I've done is I've welded a piece of that onto here, onto the actual um, uh, saw, so it moves back and forward.